Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Python pipeline or an ATL pipeline in an Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based ATL and data integration service. Using this, we can create and schedule pipelines. To create pipeline in an Azure, we need three things: storage account, batch account, and data factory account. So this is my Python script for which I'm going to create a pipeline. This load input files and model from Azure storage container, do some prediction and store data in the same account. So to create pipeline, first of all create a storage account. For that click on storage account, then click on create. choose your subscription choose resource group enter the storage account name choose reason click on next go to tags here enter any tag then click on review and create After passing the validation, click on create. This will create storage account within some time. After the creation of storage account, click on go to resources. Then click on containers. Here create two container, one is for output and another one is for input. For that, click on plus and enter name for your container. Choose container under public access level and click on create. in input container upload your input script uh, in, uh, and all input files and model to upload all input files script and model click on upload browse your all files and to upload the, those files click on upload After uploading all required file, next step is to create batch account. For this, go to batch account. And create new batch account. Fill all the required fields. Choose your subscription. Choose resource group. Enter any name, choose reason, link your storage account with this batch account, for that select a storage account, and click on review and create.
after the successful creation of batch account create pool inside it for that click on go to resources choose pool under features and create on add enter pool id enter display name for the pool choose operating system under start task option enable start task in command line enter a command to install all requirements to run your script for that right command and click on ok It will take some time to create a pool. When the allocation state of pool changes to steady, it is ready to use. Now, third and final step is to create data factory. For this, go to Azure portal. Click on create a resource, choose integration from the sidebar and then click on data factory. Under the basic information tab, choose subscription, choose the resource group for your data factory account, enter name choose reason under the second tab click on configure git later keep the rest setting as it is and click on review and create after passing the validation click on create This will create data factory account. When deployment is completed successfully, click on go to resources. Click on Open Azure Data Factory Studio. To create a pipeline, click on Author. Click on Pipelines and click on Create a New Pipeline. Here, choose Batch Service. Drag and drop Custom Service write name for your pipeline write name for your activity write description for your activity it's optional under the azure batch link your azure batch with your custom activity for that click on new or you can uh, create link service for batch account and storage account by clicking on manage and create new link service
for creating new link service for a batch account here choose the name for your link service to get the rest of information like a access key account name batch url click on batch account under setting click on keys from here you can get all the information related to your batch account copy primary access key and paste here copy batch account name for batch url click click to batch account and copy account endpoint and paste here for pool name go to your batch account and see your pool name to link storage link service with your batch account click on select and then click on new here fill the all required information to get the ab the information about this account key click on storage account go to your storage account under security and networking go to access keys after clicking on show keys you can see all the keys and other information related to your storage account copy key from here and paste under the storage account key write storage account name and click on test connection click on create now under setting tab write command to run your script choose link service for storage account choose folder path click on browse storage click on input and click on ok for testing click on validation after successfully passing the validation click on debug to run the uh, run your pipeline you can monitor all the process by clicking on monitor or by going to container by clicking on jobs so here you can see all the uh, all the data related to running task
with storage account and batch account for example this azure blob storage link service linked our pipeline with the storage account and this azure batch bun link service link a uh, pipeline with the batch account I think by mistake by I write my pool name wrong. My pool name is dev underscore small p. You can edit the link service according to your requirement by going to manage and click on link service. This pipeline load all the required data like script, input file and model from the input container of your storage account and after a successful run store output files in output container. As you can see here. You can also schedule your pipeline for that click on trigger. You can manually trigger your pipeline or schedule by clicking on new and add it. Then create a new trigger. Fill the fields according to your requirement and schedule your pipeline. So this is how you can create a ETL pipeline in Python of Python script. Thank you.